I'm Pete Beklinski, Communications Director for Campaign Life Coalition. A 34-year-old Ontario woman who underwent top surgery and hormone injections to make herself look like a man is now suing the medical providers who provided her with gender reassignment surgeries. Michelle Zakina from Aurelia, Ontario believes she was seriously wronged more than a decade ago when medical professionals rolled out the red carpet for her, giving her everything she requested to aid her in her delusion that she was male. Here's Michelle in her own words about what happened and why she's suing the health professionals who facilitated her medical transition. I began identifying as transgender in young adulthood with no dysphoria beforehand. This was not a red flag to me as I was assured that many people discover their true gender identity later in life. Less than a year after coming out to myself, I was prescribed synthetic testosterone, which permanently virilized my voice and appearance. I had a bilateral mastectomy 14 months later, and finally, eight years into my transition, I had a medically unnecessary hysterectomy covered by the Ontario Health Insurance Plan. Each step involved irreversible alterations to my body and came with serious risks, yet all were met with little challenge despite my long-standing history of mental health struggles and no indication of gender-related distress in childhood or adolescence. I am alleging that this lack of inquiry is a failure of due diligence amounting to medical negligence towards a vulnerable patient. I will have to live with the effects of this so-called treatment for the rest of my life. Michelle says she feels devastated and angry over what happened to her. She says, quote, Some days the pain of what I've done to myself is overwhelming. I cry and I cannot stop. Other days I'm angry, end quote. Michelle is truly a hero for wanting to prevent this kind of abuse, this kind of mutilation from happening to anyone else. Young people are being rushed far too quickly into irreversible, mutilating procedures that do nothing to solve their dysphoria and in fact only increase their hatred of self. Tragically, many of these people cannot bear what they've become, and they feel the only option is to end their lives, and many have. In response to the growing devastation caused by transgenderism, especially among so many young people, CLC has launched a petition to the Prime Minister and to all the Premiers of Canada demanding that they ban the practice of mutilating and castrating children who struggle with gender dysphoria. Trying to change a child's God-given sex is not only misguided, but it's destructive and immoral. It's simply evil. Banning child sex change is a common-sense proposal that puts the health and well-being of children first. Please go to clife.ca slash ban child sex change to sign our petition. It's time to protect our children. It's time to end this child abuse.